What's emerged over the last six to nine months is an increasing recognition that there's something new going on in science now that will allow us to make transformation in, in clinical medicine using the power of genomics and big data. Cancer, for the most part, has been categorized by where it occurs in the body. And what we're finding today through whole genome sequencing is we're starting to be able to identify the specific mutations that are actually driving the cancer. The same mutation can occur in cancers in different cells across the body. And what that really means is if you can identify the specific mutation and find drugs to treat it, then you can usher in a new era of personalized medicine. The idea is to take a group of patients who have severe disease, and our exemplar case here is glioblastoma, but it could just as well be end-stage patients with ovarian cancer, breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, etc. Take patients who are in dire straits, go to a pharmaceutical shelf uh, for what's already approved drugs, and to big pharma themselves and um, uh, biotech companies, and find out from them what sort of hidden things they have on the shelf, phase three drugs, things that they've played with but haven't really pursued to the point of being commercially available. Take all of that information that we can gain access to and apply it to the analysis of this patient's tumor in a clinically relevant time frame. There's currently no systematic way to do that, nor is there a systematic way to put those pathways together with what's available on the pharmaceutical shelf. It's literally being done by hand right now. The task of a cancer researcher or a practicing oncologist these days is to take all available medical knowledge, synthesize all that in a meaningful manner, and come up with a treatment option that's viable to this patient at this point in time. Oftentimes, that's a task that is beyond the capability of a practicing oncologist to do it in a comprehensive and timely manner. IBM has technologies that could potentially help in this uh, challenge. Technologies like Watson that are extremely good at ingesting lots and lots of textual knowledge. The entirety of all published biomedical literature could be ingested into Watson. That's way more than what an MD or PhD trained scientist can do on a daily basis. You have the potential for sequencing tens of thousands of patients, maybe up to a million, depending on how we do it per year. If we can get any traction at all and show an improvement for 10 or 20% of patients, it'll be a huge success. If we are on the right mark, um, this was scaled not only quantitatively, but qualitatively from glioblastoma to other tumor types. What we're really talking about is being able to take a process that takes literally three weeks to three months for research organizations to complete today and boil that down using Watson technologies into less than three minutes. And that, coupled with the drop in sequencing cost, is what's gonna make a profound difference in cancer treatment.